It's a strong class from top to bottom. We addressed a lot of different position needs. Um, you know, and the one thing that we were looking for is, is quality of kids. So I really didn't get concerned about, you know, the amount of signees that we had or anything like that. I was, I was specifically looking for the best kid we could get uh, by position. If that means you're going to sign a couple more uh, defensive backs and linebackers or, or whatever the case is, uh, you go out and you get the best kids and then you kind of figure it out later. And that's, you know, that's really what we did. But at the same time, um, you know, we, we stayed within our boundaries of, of what our needs were, uh, specifically for our football team by position and uh, did a great job. I, really, the, a lot of the credit goes to our staff and how hard they worked and the hours that they put in really identifying these kids, evaluating the talent, uh, and then getting them here on campus for visits. It's been overwhelming the response that we've got, not only from the, from the kids that we have on this list, but the high school coaches in the state of Nebraska and how welcoming and open they were to, you know, really us kind of coming in really late to the party, but um, we're really gratifying in the fact that they, they came across and they gave us a bunch of great names, uh, allowed us access to their kids and, and really went above and beyond um, what I've experienced before with with high school recruiting to make sure that we had all the tools necessary to go out and sign these kids and, and our Nebraska list, one that I'm, that I'm really, really proud of. Uh, it, like I said, it's specifically with the amount of time that we had. And, you know, these kids are our top end kids at, at all these positions. So they are so excited to be, to be part of something that's brand new, uh, to be starting a tradition um, that features, you know, really what we're trying to do, character, integrity, um, honesty, hard work, respect, uh, love. You know what? You have to be multi-dimensional in the in the offense that we're going to run um, as an offensive lineman. You know, we didn't really recruit big, you know, for lack of a better term, um, fat, slow athletes. You know, we we recruited the the type that have room to grow, that have room to build on their frame, uh, kids that had had the ability to move their feet to get up to level two to block linebackers. And you really have to be an athlete to play offensive line in, in this offense. And then, you know, running back, one of the things is is you have to be really multifaceted in the fact you have to be able to tote the rock around a little bit for 20 plus times a game, but also be able to line up in the slot and possibly block a blitz, blitzing linebacker or um, catch the ball out of the backfield. So you have to do a lot of different things. And then our quarterbacks that we signed are, are athletic kids uh, that have the ability to throw the ball deep down the field, make all the short passes that you want, but then also be able to uh, keep that respect from the defense but with making plays with their feet. Um, and then tight end was a, a position that we did focus on, and these guys can do a little bit of everything. They can line up in the traditional tight end position. They can line up in the backfield. They can line up as a slot receiver. Um, so they're able to catch passes, block defensive ends, block linebackers, do a little bit of everything. And, and uh, those are really the kids that we were trying to target in our offense that, you know, they played a position in high school, but they might be able to play a, a different transi and transition to a different position uh, in college. Defensively, um, really just wanted to get bigger kids uh, that were able to run. They obviously, when they show up at the football, they're able to finish and have great tackling skills. Um, but those kids, I don't think you can have enough of, of them in your program that are big, strong, fast, can run uh, and finish on the defensive side of the ball. And so all these kids that we brought in are multi-talented in the fact that whatever we ask them to do, uh, we're going to throw 11 guys out there that uh, are going to play hard and play fast and, and be physical. You know, and, and the other thing is, is you know, we, we had to battle for these kids. Um, very few of those kids, actually, I don't think any of those kids didn't have any other options. Um, and that was, that was the one really exciting thing about what we were able to do in the time period that we were able to do it in. You, you have to develop these relationships. And over recruiting, um, over that eight-month span, that's really what you do as a coach, is you cultivate that relationship with that young man and, and his family. And, and they have to feel comfortable to allow you to take that young man into your, essentially, university. And, and you're going to take care of him when you look at those parents. And you're looking them in the eye and you say, you know, your son is going to be under great care for the next four or five years of his life. You know, that has to mean something. And these kids all had high quality options to go to. Um, and so we're very blessed and humbled that they chose to be a part of what we're trying to build here and, and, uh, and they're going to be a big part of Loper Nation for years to come.